a mythic lead is available today in the 124 power level in twine repair the shelter is actually a really easy mission so this is a great mission to bring like a lower level friend today if there's a lower level in the community who needs some help maybe drop your epic and power level down below uh, our discord is also a great place to to hang out maybe a high level can bring you there but this is a great mythic lead because she is also a marksman so not just a mythic lead in a relatively easy 124 mission but also a marksman so she's dependable personality this will go into your marksman squad and that will actually improve your damage which is great so uh yeah doing more damage is awesome and I have said this so many times, like, I think that's the one I use, and I'm wrong, like, 60% of the time, but I do actually use Lacey in my squad, so there you go. It's a really, really solid lead. I mean, all the Mythic leads are good, but there's one, and we've also got V-Bucks today available in the 140 EVAC, so... Um, if you're going to do the mythic lead later, you might want to queue the evac mission right now because that'll be a 10 minute wait before the mission could even start. The rest of the video can play out while you're waiting for that to start. Then when the video is done, maybe you can go and pick up the mythic lead. You can do whatever you want, but 40 V-Bucks are available today in the Twine mission and it doesn't stop there. So we've also got our Deco Llamas. Our Deco Llamas are great. You can get any of them with Flux, but in my opinion, extra tickets are way cheaper than Flux and there are actually some really good Arteco weapons. In fact, I had a video that I was waiting to post for a long time recently. I had recorded this maybe six months ago and I honestly forgot about it. <laughs> and then Art Deco Llamas came out, so I posted it suddenly. It was just fully edited, fully thumbnail. Uh, you know, that happens. I, I tell you guys I'm on a break and I mean it and then I just throw together a video anyway and then I forget about it for a couple months and then the Floor Flusher is a video. You guys should go check that out. It's a really, really strong weapon. I'm trying to get to the event schematics. Go to the Art Deco section here. Floor Flusher, as I said, really, really strong AR. And in that exact video, I was using the Big Shot because it's really good for crowd clearing. Super good, couple of weapons, they pair well. Mouthpiece is a decent pistol. Sodbuster, one of the best uh, rocket launchers in the game. I try to say like four things at once there and I had to pick one. Brush Off, decent single target shotgun, not my favorite. Uh, great Axe Speed, Heavyweight, all the melees are very strong. Every single one of them is really good. And the Takedown is a decent sniper. So it's a really strong weapon set. And each and every one of these actually can carries with it the Art Deco 6 perk. I wanted to demonstrate this on an actual Art Deco weapon. They all have an elemental bonus where they do 44% extra damage to a specific element, and that is huge because the Art Deco uh, weapons are generally pretty mediocre, but if you're shooting at an elemental target that matches their 6 perk, that 44% damage buff is massive, all right? Uh, Noir is great for lefty and righty because it can extend the duration of it. Uh, Sleuth, I think, is for Rosie, so it's kind of nice if you're using Rosie. Gumshoe is excellent for Shock Towers and Teddy because she'll improve their damage by 30 percent it's fragment abilities in the text but it means shock tower and teddy and i don't believe you even need a fragment so it's great and venturian was recently buffed for crescent kick it's still pretty bad i'm not gonna lie so uh with that information in mind go through your art deco llamas maybe you'll pick something up i'm gonna buy this for one reason i went through about 18 researches getting my nature killjoy and um wow this has the uh stacking crit rating i know my face cam's covering it but uh okay yeah <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna grab that llama real quick there and purple. So I don't uh, always like to gamble away with these llamas, but check it out, see if you guys get anything good. If you are somebody who saves up X-ray tickets, which you should, this is what you're saving it for. Our Deco llamas are here. So there are actually some really good missions available today, but I'm gonna head to BR real quick just to talk about what's going on. And a quick word from our sponsor. Ant Legion is a super fun mobile game where you get to control, where you get to build a hive and control some ants. It's a super fun game to play. Easy mobile game, free to play, link down below. If you guys complete any of these challenges, get your queen to level five, only takes about 10 minutes, rally an attack, shortly thereafter easy to do thank you to my community if you get an orange ant that is the best thing you can do to support me somebody just did that that's really good timing <laughs> um that might have been a notification from earlier yeah i think those two already came through earlier regardless thank you to those two i know who they are emerald and, and inferno helping me out there it really does support me financially directly so sponsor of the channel for a few days here go ahead link down below check it out in br there's really nothing too crazy so weekends back yeah yeah yeah. but we've also got the archetype bundle which is 
new but like not none of the items are new but apparently the bundle is according to the website maybe i'm being lied to but jaeger is the uh, oldest item in the shop he's been gone for 492 days that is almost a year so kind of a rare item and then fira was gone for 388 days and snow striker has been gone for 447 so not the rarest items to come back but kind of uh kind of odd to see them coming back at such a weird time and uh that's it i think i'm gonna say a quick thank you to people who are using my code because i am a couple days behind and i need to drink some water because i am just uh dehydrated while talking here but i'm i'm staying strong i think this is where i left off last time because i think we definitely saw the animals i think maybe i left off up here because i read this on stream thank you everybody who's using my code if you want to be featured just ping me in here uh showing you use my code i get five percent of your purchase at no further cost to you this supports me directly in us dollars and i really do appreciate it so if you want to support me for free this is a great way to do it just use my code when you buy the coachella stuff or whatever and uh you got some swords here dude i find, i love swords hell yeah mm. i was just thinking about swords when i was watching avatar and Sokka got his master who taught him how to use swords but got these just gifted these emojis my code thank you photo he's been in the stream all day today he almost left three times but stuck around ended up getting a gifted sub so uh yeah Thank you to these people for joining so that I can see the higher level missions and ventures. We're going to be starting off in the 46 zone right here. Four X drops of rain in the retrieve the data. Super good mission if you want to get some rain. Then we're going to be going to the 58 zone because of one mission right here. Two purple survivors, which is really useful if you're a new player who wants to level up your squads. A mythic lead is great, but not everybody has all legendary survivors. So these two purples might help out. And 4x lightning the bottle is useful to everybody. Then in the 108 four player, no, not four player, but the 108 zone, we got the Seal Electric Field. It's a build a radar grid mission, super slow 20 minute mission, but Seal Electric Field is one of the best traps in the entire game, so it might be worth picking up. 4x legendary perk up in the 124 four player. Then the Storm Plate in the other one, super good weapon. I have weird perks on mine, but this crit hits cause an explosion weapon is super, super fun. I've shown this in some recent videos as well with Paley Luna in the lead, very good weapon. 4x drops terrain in the 144 player and 4x reperk in the 144 player as well and then backing up a step to pick up uh, something i missed here legendary lead actually kind of useful if you need that as well see like a mythic lead is super exciting but that's only one of your eight leads so if you need a legendary there it is but i wanted to mention the thrasher is that yeah it's right up here best smg in the entire game super good weapon i keep saying i'm gonna use that in horror and then i just keep forgetting so uh yeah in twine we got up here neon scythe decent weapon and the anti-air trap so really good at shooting projectiles out of the air uh 4x perk up in the repair the shelter so three blue one epic which is nice as well then we got the 82 zone 4x eye of the storm in the category 4 mission then we got the 88 zone 4x reperk in the retrieve the data then we got the 94 zone over here ceiling drop trap another evacuate the shelter mission but it is one of the best traps in the entire game so really really good uh that'll drop down the enemy's heads bounce around stall them super strong then in the 100 zone we got one of the best shotguns in the entire game tiger jaw fully automatic mag shotgun super fun to use then we got the 4x eye of the storm in the 184 player and 4x legendary perk up in the 184 player and the slice and dice. <clears throat> the slice and dice. I need to drink some water, you guys. This is actually a really good melee. Um, it's not as good as a storm blade. I'm sorry, not as good as the stabs with a third. It's basically the same weapon, but it's good. It's good. Uh, I wanted to mention the tar pit in the 116. That'll stop smashers and their traps. Stop smashers in their tracks. I can speak today. I promise. That includes mini bosses, which is super effective. We already talked about the mythic lead, but hot fixer hazard helps you repair quicker. I've never needed that. I do not value that perk at all. Legendary sniper defender, super useful. Hand them a sniper, obliterator, uh, neon sniper, uh, blaster drone 9000. There we go. Super useful. Uh, already showed the V box earlier, so I'll be skipping that. Uh, and then we just got the high zone. So yeah. 4x perk up in the 144 player, 5x lightning in a bottle in the cat 4. This is going to give you a ton of lightning in a bottle and cat 4 missions, super easy modifiers as well. Good mission to run. 5x reperk, super easy modifiers on repair the shelter. That one might be the easiest 160 to run today. 10 times if you want that uh, survivor supercharger, which is a big get. But then 5x drops of rain and reperk is excellent in the retrieve the data because these missions are super easy and these modifiers aren't bad either. 5x reperk is great, but deliver the bomb will not count towards your weapon. I'm sorry, your survivor supercharger this week. So if you want the reperk, you can run this, but don't do that for your supercharger. And then storm shard and smoke screen is not so great, but it is our one legendary survivor available in the 160 zone. So if you want to run the rider lightning once, then pick one of these three to queue. It kind of depends on what you need. Lightning bottle, reperk or rain. All three of these missions are super easy. Cat four is always going to 
going to be like one of the harder defenses because you have four objectives. But uh, if you're queuing the 160 zones, I I have faith you can figure it out. Floor freeze the 52 zone. Great trap. This will freeze enemies in place and they'll take 25% extra damage while frozen. Very powerful. And then the 64-4 uh, player down here. 4x perk up. <gasps> in the repair the shelter Whew! thank you guys so much for watching i uh you know I, I i don't know how many sponsors i can plug in one video but right at the end here advanced gg has got a spring cleaning sale going on right now so there are just a few tubs going fast at a super cheap price if you want to check them out you can go ahead uh tiger blood super delicious and tropical splash also very delicious i bought tropical splash with my own money because i was curious what it tastes like and it's one of my favorite flavors so uh yeah quick little plug at the end blueberry sai is good too so uh thank you guys so much watching i'll see you guys later um subscribe and and have a good, good rest of your day go check out ants legion link down below ant legion ant Le link down below free to check it out and it supports me in the process